Ladies and gentlemen, Fallout has come. And so have I. All over my screen. So the trailer is out, and uh, what really stood out to me, you know, above everything else, was just how fruity it was. You know, comparable to Skyrim with real vision, right? Option C, right? The fruitiest option of them all, and the climate overhauls. And I'm talking about the summer edition. And this is Fallout we're talking about, right? The post apocalyptic, you know, wasteland game. I mean, look at the sky here in the last scene. It looks like real vision, right? That's the same sky in my Skyrim. But uh, yeah, I am not complaining. Are you sick and tired of Bree's home? Do you wish that for once in its life it could just not be poverty? Well, I think it's time to elevate it from basic bitch to one with a pH value greater than 7. This is The Raven's Bree's Home by iWilly Blecka, a mod that makes Bree's Home look deceptively elegant. So when you first step in the home, you're gonna think to yourself, wow, Bree's Home looks so deceptively elegant just like mxr said he's such a good mind review <laughs> okay i'm just kidding now what you're really gonna notice here is the complete and utter annihilation of your frame rate from just the immense detail packed in a large space right with no low doors equals annihilation of your frame rate this house features a red gramophone that plays custom music breathing living mannequins that will not rape you at night a never before seen children's room in your breeze home unique places to place you know those show offy type of items as well as a newly added alchemy and enchanting room that leads up to a balcony or a terrace just the perfect location to stare down the peasants walking in the streets of white run not to mention you finally get a backyard as well and overall this is just a very you know cozy and homey and you know pleasant incredibly detailed home that is obviously just you know leagues above vanilla breeze home now unfortunately it seems as though my fish are faulty and seeing as how fish are supposed to swim in water this is pretty much the most non-immersive thing i've ever seen in my life and i officially declare this the worst mod ever <laughs> okay i'm just kidding um yeah i don't know what's up with that but seriously that's that's really non-immersive have you ever wanted to become a master of disguise yeah that's good, man. That's real good. This is Master of Disguise, a mod that transforms all faction armor into functional disguises. If you are a Stormcloak, you can now murder an Imperial soldier, put his clothes on, and voila! You are now officially disguised as an Imperial soldier. You can now mate with all of their women and make little Imperial babies who will grow up and discover that their daddy is actually a Stormcloak, and then they'll kill themselves. My god, it's actually a very dark story. Holy shit. So here's when the mod gets a little more complicated. But also what makes this mod really special. NPCs now have a sort of cone of vision, where if you stand in this cone for more than 10 seconds, you'll get a message saying that you're being watched. Now you won't know who's watching you, but you gotta get out of that person's vision within 5 seconds, or else a random game of dice will happen in the background. The game will calculate based on many factors, including you know, your sneak, your illusion level, what race you are, no racist, how much of the faction's armor you're wearing, the more the better, as well as your dong length, to determine the chance of your identity being compromised. As you would expect, you know, being in the skies gives you many advantages. It allows you to get close to people that would otherwise try to kill you. Very close. Wait till they're alone, right? And then rate them in the ass, dispose of their corpse like a fucking psychopath. Bring a walking mushroom as well, those are usually prime suspects for murders. No one will ever suspect it was you when there's a walking mushroom. So yeah, this mod has a whole new method of accomplishing objectives in this game. And uh, that is just fantastic, and uh, so is being a psychopathic ass rapist, not really. But yeah, it's really a lot of fun, and you should definitely try it out. Next up, we have a Musketeer mod, and not just any Musketeer mod, THE Musketeer mod. This is the Musketeer mod by Eureka. So not only does this mod add a very nice Charleville musket, 
arguably the sexiest musket ever made, but it also comes with custom sound effects, as well as custom smoke effects when you shoot it, and he even went that extra mile to include custom animations as well. You know, just, just God, God bless you, Yurika. And how could I forget even a custom outfit to go along with every other custom thing that was added with this mod? You know, j just a very musketeery like outfit. Even has an ammo pouch. Oh, and of course, it also adds custom bullets for the muskets. It is also highly recommended that you get the immersive first person view mod as it will make it look like you are playing a first person shooter. And you know, all of these custom things combine to create one of the most immersive musketeering experiences you will ever experience in your life. So I know lots of you guys were wondering what armor Alex Straza was wearing last week. Well, it was the dragon carved armor set by High 284 And uh, my god, this is the most protected Alex Straza has looked since episode 3. Now, fuck all the armor mods that were on the paid Steam Workshop. You know, this, my friends, could have trumped all of them. It looks absolutely insane. It's original. It's lore friendly. Right, it honestly looks like it belongs in Skyrim. You know, one look at it, and it's like, that that's Dovahkiin right there. That is worthy of the Dragonborn. And uh, this has got to be one of the best armors ever created for Skyrim. Next up, we have a whole new lore-friendly spell pack called the Lost Grimoire of Skyrim by Steel Feathers. Now, you might be wondering, you know, what makes this spell mod different from the rest? Well, all the spells in this pack fit very well with the vanilla game while filling in the missing gaps in the magic system. But wait, that's what they all say. Well, what I found this spell pack really excelled at was giving you the ability to play as an assassin type mage. So what this mod does is it adds spells to pretty much every single discipline of magic, expanding on the vanilla system and allowing you to play your mage in ways that you never thought was possible. For example, the destruction tree now has spells that allow you to play like an assassin. There are new silent touch spells that will allow you to do critical damage while you're in sneak mode, as well as fire bomb, which is uh, pretty damn gruesome. It turns your target into a living bomb that will explode in 10 seconds. Destruction also allows you to summon a horse named Flameheart, who will set your opponents on fire. Restoration now has spells that will you know fuck shit up. You can turn corpses into a cocoon and then spawn an insect that will kill your enemies. Others will infect your enemies with the plague, and then when they die, spiders will come and then spread the plague to even more enemies. There are also spells that will make you feel like you're a support character in League of Legends, you know, buffing your allies by making them bigger, <coughs> Lulu, and summoning guardians for your allies, as well as being able to resurrect people. Illusion now spells like Trickster, which kind of reminds me of Shaco's alt, where you're going to be able to summon two copies of your character, right? And here's the kicker, it'll also make you invisible so you could you know sort of disappear while your clones fight people for you and then stab them in the back and you know a lot of the conjurations from the conjuration tree have a twist to them for example the Dremora seducer can seduce you know male opponents and the alteration tree now is a spell that allows you to transform into different creatures sort of in the same way that wrath of nature allowed you to do you know each creature that you transform into has their own special abilities so yeah most of these spells are way more interesting than what you'd find in the vanilla game not to mention these spells are different enough from the apocalypse spell mod which is the most popular one so you could use them both and that is it for this week guys hope you enjoyed all the mods featured in this episode hit that like button if you did and subscribe for the best scar mods every single week Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.